Hey everybody, welcome back. It is almost time to face Zinnia, the final boss of the Delta episode. Before you do that though, you have to catch Rayquaza, which I've just done, and the game unfortunately forces you to switch out Rayquaza for one of your Pokémon. So I'm not sure who the best one is to switch out, but let's switch out Finnick, and we'll see how that goes. So we'll send Finnick back to the PC, and Rayquaza has joined the party. I'm going to sort of skip through the dialogue here, but like I think I mentioned before, I did a full Let's Play of Alpha Sapphire, so if you guys want to see the story, um, I highly recommend watching that. It was a lot of fun, and I show the entire thing from start to end, and I also use Rayquaza and some other cool legendaries in uh, some post-game battles, so if you want to see them in action, again, definitely recommend that. But for this one, we're going to use our team and get right to the battle and see how we face against Zinnia with her improved team. And they are dragon types, so this could definitely be a challenge because dragon is one of the strongest types in the game. Alright, Cynia, bring it on. And she leads with Kudra, a very strong pseudo legendary dragon type. And the game forces us to leave with Rayquaza. And I think it's been a long time, but I want to say, like, last time I just used Rayquaza, and it's actually, like, pretty easy to steamroll her team since they're, I believe, all dragon types. And you can just mega evolve and use, like, Dragon Pulse the entire time. Um,. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of break my rule about not using items in battle. But I do want to, um, I think it's fair. Oh, Jest is already healed up from that. Okay. Well, in that case, um, I think maybe I'll keep her Quaza alive just as an ace in the hole because she does have uh, level 60s, it seems. But let's switch out. I don't use an item. I want to switch to one of my team members. Um trying to think who would be the best one to switch to. So Gudra is probably going to use a dragon attack. So I could switch to Simon, but Gudra often has um, often has poison coverage. So let's bring in Jest. Jest being ice type will also be good against Gudra. And Gudra Ice Beam, okay, even better. Which makes sense, because Rayquaza is four times weak to ice. But we four times resist ice, and I don't think ice types can get frozen. So let's retaliate with an Ice Beam of our own. Gudra is faster, and it does no Thunderbolt, a very good coverage attack. So that dealt a little more than half, unfortunately. Gudra's really cool. I'm actually training right now a Swayan Gudra. Oh, cred, nice. Good job, Jest. Um, in Legends Arceus, just on my own time. I can't take another Thunderbolt, and I do have a ground type though, but it does no Ice Beam, and I don't know if Tempo is faster or not. How... Okay, we went first last time, right? So what I'm going to do... How does Tempo's speed compare to Jess's? Jess's 122 and 105. Okay, so I'm going to be a little bit risky here, but if we can switch into another Thunderbolt, we can save Jess for another part of the battle. And we can retaliate with our own Ice Beam before... Okay, perfect. Before Gudra has a chance to. So we are going to use Ice Beam. And... Oh, will it be enough for a knockout, though? Because we don't get stab. And I forgot that that was a critical hit last time. It is not. Uh, Muddy Water. That is super effective since we are ground type. But we did hold on. So hopefully she doesn't have any, like, potions. Okay, she doesn't. That's good. Definitely good news. I did look up Wallace's team after we beat him, just out of curiosity, and he has no held items at all, so I'm kind of thinking that she probably doesn't either. Which, being so many levels lower, could give us a uh, an even shot at defeating her. Alright, so Tyrantrum. We know what type of Tyrantrum is, because we have one. So, uh, Rock and Dragon should be weak to Earth Power if we're faster. And we are! Okay, good job, Tempo. This should do a lot of damage, because we do get the same type of attack bonus. And a one-hit knockout. Perfect. All right, that makes me feel a lot more confident now. Technically, it's five versus three, or even six versus three, if we include Rayquaza. But uh, our team is definitely pretty damaged. But luckily, Tempo's speed is coming in handy once again. And this time, it, it, we are four times super effective. So down goes Altaria. Without being Mega of Altaria is not super strong. But I did use a Mega Altaria in my um, playthroughs, so that was a lot of fun. 
I really like Megalteria. Once again, we have a uh, flying and dragon type, but this time, yeah, Noivern is super fast. I actually trained a Noivern in my Let's Play Pokemon X playthroughs. So if you want to see a Noivern, another cool dragon type, definitely check out that one too. Um, all right, so let's bring in, let's bring in Clever. Flying type versus flying type. Let's see how we do there. Um, everything is even, so let's Mega Evolve. Now we can't Mega Evolve Rayquaza if we Mega Evolve Clever, but that's okay. In fact, oh, you know what? I probably should have used Tailwind. Well, actually, no. I think this is probably the best move, because once I Mega Evolve, we're, we might be faster. Noivern is very fast, but so is Mega Pidgeot. Then again, she is six levels higher. So we'll have to see who is faster, but if we're slower, then we probably should have used Eternal and Tailwind. Luckily, we didn't take that much damage, so good job, Clever. And we are faster. Okay, so I actually was... Um, I used the correct choice by not wasting Eternal Tailwind, since we were faster after we Mega Evolved. And Salamence, her best Pokemon, and if I recall, her Mega Evolution. Um, just like Drake. So we are intimidated, it doesn't really matter, we should still be faster. Let's go for Hurricane. Again, we're trying to go for that Confusion damage. Salamence is 8 levels higher though. And we started this battle with uh, some health loss. So I wouldn't be too disappointed if her Mega Evolution defeats mine. Thunderfang is very powerful, super effective. And yeah, down goes Clever. But that's okay, Clever did a great job. Um, this could be a bad idea, but let's bring in Thrasher. We haven't used him in a little bit. And it'd be kind of cool to have my Dragon type against uh, one of hers. And I know we're going to take a lot of damage from probably a Dragon Claw or something, but if we can hold on and retaliate with our own Dragon Claw, that will probably be enough to knock out Salamence. Can we hold on? Uh, no, just too many levels lower, and uh, Mega Salamence is just too powerful. But we gave it a try. Let's bring in Simon. Um, unless it has, like, Iron Head or Iron Tail. I'm not sure Salamence has much against us. And we can retaliate with a very powerful Moonblast. So, yeah, Fire Fang is the best it can do. And I'm pretty sure unless we flinch, Simon can survive a Fire Fang. Yep, no problem. And down goes Salamence. That was a fun battle and a tough one, but another win. So good job, team. And we didn't even need to use Mega Rayquaza or regular Rayquaza to do it. Just like I'd expect of you, Dash. And again, I'm going to kind of fast forward through the text just because I haven't put the whole Delta episode on the screen now. So once again, if you guys are interested in actually seeing this and reading this or hearing it read, you'll have to watch uh, Let's Play Omega Ruby, uh, Alpha Sapphire, whatever game this one is not. All right. Yeah, I want to go ahead and end this one here. But if you want to see what happens next, like I said, like I keep saying, you're probably getting tired of hearing it right now, check out the other uh, Let's Play. Otherwise, I'll be right back here for some other cool battles we get to face as we prepare to face the Pokemon League once again. So thank you all for watching, and see you again soon. Actually, you know what? Let's stay here. Let's go ahead and... There is one more kind of cool battle at the end of this, so... Let's ride on Mega Rayquaza and uh, face one more cool little challenge. Up into the sky we go. Into space. Very pretty background. I like this. I like that we have a little pressure suit on there. So we can survive the atmosphere, or lack of atmosphere, rather, of being in space. And there's the meteor headed towards Earth. That's part of the story. And riding Mega Rayquaza's back, we shall destroy the meteor and find out what's inside it. It's actually a bad idea, because now instead of one giant meteor hitting Earth, you just have a bunch of tiny meteors hitting Earth. So that's not much better. But I guess we did change their trajectory a little bit. So maybe it's enough to miss the planet. But what is this? A strange triangle. A delta shape, you might even say. Could it be the one and only 
the mythical. Deoxys! Pokemon that you couldn't catch, except for like events or cheating back in the day, but you can catch as part of the game in the remix. So I did catch it, and actually I used it in some, some cool fun battles um, in Alpha Sapphire, but for this one, I think we're just going to defeat it. And uh, again, I'm not going to use Rayquaza because I want to have a chance to show off the team that we've been using. Now level 80 is tough, so... Oh, also, we're already Mega Evolved, so I guess Clever can't Mega Evolve. So let's go ahead and switch in Clever then. Because she just had some screen time, and without being Mega Evolved, she'll be less powerful. And depending on what Deoxys does, we might still get a chance to attack. But let's see. Psycho Boost. That, uh, I don't remember what that does. I think that's a attack that like relies on... Oh, that's right. It's um, like a Psychic equivalent of um, Draco Meteor. So we are not going to run... So, against a Psychic type, uh, let's bring in Simon with Shadow Ball. Now, after that Psycho Boost, hopefully we can survive an attack from a Pokemon that is 26 levels higher. Or do I go for Yawn? Let's go for Yawn. That might be the best way to defeat this thing is to put it asleep. Alright, Cosmic Power, I believe, is going to increase both of Deoxys' defenses. Yeah, Defense and Special Defense. Which will make it... A little more durable, but regular Deoxys is not very sturdy at all. It's much more of a offensive Pokemon with high speed and attack and special attack. Okay, no recover. That's good. Or good to know, I should say. So we didn't do a lot of damage just because of that cosmic power and because of the uh, level difference. But we do have Deoxys asleep now. If we get it to like a sliver of HP and it's asleep, I might throw a couple of Pokeballs at it just for fun, but... I have a Deoxys on my other game, so it's not really that uh, important. Okay, let's use Moonblast. This might knock it out after the special defense drop. In fact, I would imagine it would. But if Deoxys hangs on, I'll throw some, some Dusk Balls at it. I assume Dusk Balls work in space. Not really sure how that works. Is it nighttime in space? Okay, it's a knockout. Doesn't matter. I feel bad defeating it, but hey, XP. All right, and that is the end of the Delta episodes. Like I said, we have some... Pretty cool battles coming up, uh, followed by the very tough rematch against the Pokemon League, now, who have now have Mega Evolutions of their own. So uh, that'll be fun, but if you guys want to see the rest of this cutscene and all this, then you know what to do. All right, thanks for staying tuned for the little bit of the bonus there, and now I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care.